Welcome back to Blackthorn Prod. I'm Noah, an indie game developer, and I'm working on a project called Dashing Fire, which I'm developing using the Unity game engine. It's been about three solid months since I began work on this world, and I think it's due time I set myself a tangible, exciting deadline to wrap things up. So after much thought, I believe I can finish work on Dashing Fire in two months. And hopefully very soon after that, I'll launch the game for everyone to enjoy. This isn't me trying to rush the process, simply a slight push towards completing something I know can be done rather than having this apparently endless amount of time in front of me, which I feel encourages me to procrastinate a great deal. Now, for those of you who have no clue what this project is about, I suggest you check out this cool video. If you do though, that's awesome, and let's get cracking. So you might know that I've been working on this project alone, however, just recently I teamed up once again with Dave Allen who was the music composer on The Dreadful Whispers, and who is helping me make epic soundtracks for the dashing fire world now. The Dreadful Whispers music was loved by almost everyone, even people who disliked the game were entranced by the soundtrack, so thanks again Dave for joining me on this second project. Since the last video, I've also received help from a small number of playtesters who have given me some amazing feedback on Dashing Fire, which was extremely useful. Thanks to them, I added a small invincibility time to the player so he doesn't just dash through three monsters in a row and die immediately. When he takes damage, he now has about one second to recover. In the shortcuts menu, you can click on the planet instead of the sun, which is a lot more intuitive. The boss intro animations have been greatly improved using cool fluid animations paired alongside the sprite mask to create this funky effect. I've also realized the game is too hard and will need to spend some time balancing all the levels and boss characters. I made a chill mode, which is the exact same game, but in slow motion. This is awesome for more casual players or people who want to practice and learn about the various enemies before diving into the classic experience. And I also created a simple tutorial level explaining the basic mechanics in a safe environment. Damn, I can't really remember all the small tweaks and fixes I've done, but there have been plenty. However, more exciting are the three new boss characters. The Crimson Sphinx is a vicious looking giant spider encounter. The player is plunged into her nest, crawling with her deadly offspring. A big favor of mine is Gloop, who constantly splits in half, making the encounter gradually more challenging. Similar to Bubble Struggle, it's also quite strategic with the player trying to figure out what gloop to dash into first, or risk being overwhelmed with eight tiny but dangerous gloops. And finally, there's Celeth. Quite a few of you suggested I make a boss who copies the player's moves, similar to the Dark Celeste in the amazing platform game Celeste. So that's what I did, and it makes for a really cool new boss in the dashing fire worlds. Again, all of these need to be balanced and made a little easier, I think, but with that done, I now have 10 unique boss characters, three for each area, and the final boss after area number four. All bosses have been given stylish names like the Stab, Marma, Hororo, Lush, Haula, Zuluth. With that said, there's also simple progress UI showing the player in which area he's currently in and what level. It's simply a clear and polished detail which I began adding many weeks ago but I'd forgotten about until now. And in a challenging game such as Dashing Fire, keeping the player motivated by showing how far he's been is important. I'll also be adding some permanent signs of progress other than simply unlocking new worlds perhaps interesting collectibles, or different character looks, or extra story scenes. As for story, I made two cutscenes. I'm leaving it simple and open to the player's imagination, with you on a quest to become the next sun. With the Dreadful Whispers, I'd made cutscenes in Camtasia and then imported MP4 video files into Unity, which for some reason made it very difficult to import the experience to Mac and Linux, with all cutscenes showing up completely blank. So I won't encounter that problem this time around, since I'm making it all directly in Unity. You might have noticed earlier this cool new blue planet 
This brings you to the game's endless mode, which I began working on and have continued improving since the last video. It has the same issues as the rest of the game, it's too difficult, so again more balancing time is needed. I'm not really aiming for a Dark Souls or Cuphead level of challenge, more an invigorating, unique adventure with hidden layers of difficulty for those who seek it in the form of Steam achievements, speedruns and optional mysterious secrets. So I have 8 weeks, each one matters big time, so in the following 7 days my objective is to start bringing to life the boss rush mode, which I think will be a blast and a great way for the player to practice his skill against these giant foes one after the other. I have this long list of possible little improvements and bug fixes to work through thanks to playtesters, and I'll be adding extra variety to every area, so Field of Gold, Lush Lands, the Crimson Hollow and Tenebrous Sky by randomizing the level layout, which for now is always the same, it's only the planets and what's on them that constantly shifts from run to run. Remember, you can support me by wishlisting Dashing Fire on Steam, and hey, it's been a while since I promoted the in-depth game creation courses I made with my brother, so if you want to bring your own worlds to life, these are great places to start. Okay, thanks to my patrons, as always, for supporting Blackthorn Prod, the development of Dashing Fire, and these YouTube videos. And I'll see you all next week, where seven weeks will remain to complete Dashing Fire. Okay, cheers.